Okay, let's do this. One, two, three, four. I pop bacon in the blender. No. More than one way to make a protein shake. I'm trying to make breakfast. What the? Fuck? Oh, look. Bill. Bill Jr. I thought that was you. Well, hot dog. Ned. Ned Ryerson? Hi, you've reached Phil Connors. If you're calling to tell me to go fuck myself, press one now. Please, go fuck yourself, Phil. Thanks, Elise. What, what is happening? I, I, I have a projectile. Come on. Come on. It's very hard to line this up. My hand is bleeding terribly. <laughs> That's all you guys right now. I did it. practicing like that. It may be in a few years, you'll be as good as I was when I started. I gotta go tell Sarah! Yeah, I never said this, but sometimes when I look into your eye- No, don't come back here! What the hell is wrong with you? I don't- I don't- what did I do? We're just here for the rest of our lives, aren't we? There, there's no escape. Hey, you want some tequila, bro? <laughs> Not you joker. There's a lot of tissue on the ground. So many tissues are in this box. You're fucked, Ned. You're gonna be run out of this town. Oh, no! Oh no! I gotta do it all again! Go fuck yourself, Phil! Okay, there's no need to be rude. Groundhog Day is like a 90s movie starring Bill Murray where he lives the same day of his life over and over. They made a sequel last year! It's a VR game! Groundhog Day like father like son. Bill Connors Jr., so that's us. Last half filled his home, people back in punks to Tommy for the unveiling of my dad's stupid statue on the day before Groundhog Day. Tomorrow's vlog is going to be epic. This man unironically says epic. I don't know if we can trust him. Here's the deal, Streamblur loves me. They want to give me my own show. But first they ask to see me do some personal material. Wrestle with some daddy issues. Tomorrow morning, people, who's in? Okay, it's just the one first day. day. Just nod your head. And oh take my a god, it's me. Oh, okay, so I can grab stuff still. Last call, recovery. <laughs> Is this like a bottle of vodka? Do we just drink all of that? This... Oh no, okay, no, I shouldn't be. Hey, good morning, little guy. Oh no. You know, the developers could have been a little more generous. Why the fuck is this in the game? Why is this? Get up! Get up! Get up! Good start. Uh, we have to teleport over there to continue. We have a guitar there. Call this little ditty Wonderwall. You may not have heard it before. <laughs> How many things are we gonna drink before we leave the first room? <laughs> Just... Am I? Drunk? Oh no, it's actually getting hazy. Well, let's go fuck myself. Oh, I got my phone. Seriously, Phil? You're in Punk Satani? Uh. What the hell? Yeah, so? What's the big deal? I'm doing a vlog here today that could be huge for me. Okay? We're a streamer. And what? I'm not? Well, I guess I'm on the fence about that right now. Oh my god. Go fuck yourself, Phil. Okay, there's no need to be rude. I hey, mom, how's it going? started breakfast. I'm a lot taller than you. The whole ceremony thing was Ned's idea, but I'm actually a little excited for it, aren't you? I'm more excited for my flight out of here. Now, Pumpkin, I know you and your dad had a rough patch there at the end. I'd say it was mostly rough patch. I'm shooting the most important vlog of my career at Dad's ceremony today. I'm a little anxious. Sorry, I'm gonna make you breakfast while we're talking. My producer insisted I do personal material for my big interview with Streamblur. They're hip. You wouldn't know them. Anyone who says something's hip is not hitting themselves. Oh, Jesus! Oh, I didn't expect there to be consequences. No, oh, fuck! <laughs> I pop bacon in the blender. More than one way to make a protein shake. I'm trying to make breakfast. Is it gonna let me do this? Oh, God! Oh, God! I think the broken glass is the least of our problems, Mom. You want a protein shake? Get some eggs in there, too. <laughs> There's so much noise. Anyone want some crispy, well done bacon? What the fuck is happening? Kill them all. The fish, the fish, the cat's going to eat the fish. What, 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 what? Why did the fish die? I'm just gonna make turn up the volume because she's complaining a lot. What the fuck? What just- What just 
happened? <laughs> oh, I thought the house could use a drive through window. What just happened? <laughs> Please tell me this is gonna be in the vlog. Hey, that's, that's prime YouTube content right there. Everyone meet my niece. You could be a little more fucking caring, Phil Connors Jr. <laughs> She's fine, just ruining my day. She just drove through the wall. <laughs> oh God, this guy's like one of the worst YouTubers. Oh look. Phil, Phil Jr. I thought that was you. Well, hot dog. Ned, Ned Ryerson. Bing. Oh, can I, can I punch him? It's Ned Ryerson from the film. This is going to be just amazing. Great for who? He's an insurance salesman. <laughs> hey, I you should make you a protein like switch. A junior, this is my daughter Sarah. You remember her, don't you? Oh, come on, Dad. Um, I, th don't I think we've met. Yeah, I think we've met. I've never met. Hey, Phil. Sarah. Missed me? You wish. Oh, come on. I know you watch my vlog. I'm blowing up right now. Guess everyone needs I'm something a YouTuber. to watch when they're taking a crap, huh? Dad, I gotta run. Nice to see you, Rita. There's been an accident. My granddaughter's in the hospital. Oh, no. Oh, damn. damn She'll be damn. fine. Don't worry. Did she have insurance? Because if she does, <laughs> oh she can use a little more. She's, She's still fine. trying to sell fucking insurance this, this long after the film. Can we postpone the ceremony until tomorrow? I have a flight to catch right after the ceremony. It's important. I'm leaving. Whose fault is that? I told you not to schedule your flight the same day. That nagging reminded me exactly why I wanted to get out of here. He's so such fast. a loving son. And what about Jake's barbecue? Ned, I'm sure you can take Jake's place at the grill. Well, my wieners sure are tasty. Don't. Come on. Don't I'll start talking it. about your wiener. This is going to be one demonetized highlights video on YouTube, isn't it? A monument to a laugh unfinished. Well, come on, I should go get the barbecue. Oh no, the statue is here. nowhere near done. I'm so sorry for this, Ned. Today's just not the right day. Well, maybe if my fritters and wieners were tasty enough, they'd forget all about Stop the Stop talking about your tasty wieners, Ned. Someone is calling me, but I kind of want a donut. Bill, it's ceremony time. You ready to record your vlog? I told Streamlight it'd be <laughs> uploaded by 5 p.m. What just happened? Oh, fuck oh. yourself, Bill. What? What was in the donut? <laughs> Did I get drugged? Am I drugged? It's back to normal. What just happened? What just happened? What? I didn't do anything. What the hell is wrong with you? I don't, I don't, what did I do? Disaster. Today was supposed to be about your father. Now Gobbler's Knob is on fire. My granddaughter is in the hospital. And the best thing my son can do is stand there when people need help. How do you always manage to make everything all about you? I'm a YouTuber. Hilarious. You had to be there or just lack empathy. Why, why would I tweet that? Hashtag sorry not sorry. He's not doing too good. He's not ha we're not having a good start to the day. A lot has gone wrong. After a day like today. Oh, it's the bartender. I really need a drink. Booze. Hmm. Give me the bottle. I love you all. <laughs> Can I have another? <laughs> I appear to be struggling. You like an umbrella. Oh, apparently that's it. I think we passed out. <laughs> Where are we now? How far away are the stars? Oh, they're far. So far that some of those stars aren't even up there anymore. What you are seeing is starlight from millions of years ago. That's the past up there, son. Time, it's its all an illusion. Trust me, kid. I know. It's not quite what Bill Murray, but that's okay. <laughs> I, I don't know how to explain this in a way you'll understand, or even believe, but your dad and time, we got a weird relationship. I was stuck on the same day for like 12 weird. years. There are stories I want to tell you. Stories you need to know. Okay, you'll have your own game too before long. You'll get to experience what I did. Yeah. Gotta get better at turning off the alarm. We must, uh... Shut the fuck up! <laughs> okay, maybe we won't start the day with a lot of alcohol this time. Because that, that seems to have been a mistake. Is that magazine again? <laughs> That fucking magazine just crops up. It's like, you're gonna be demonetized. Wait, you're calling me again? Didn't you just call me yesterday and tell me to go fuck myself? No, I'm telling you to go fuck yourself today, asshole. <laughs> okay, 
Are we gonna get a call every day telling us to go fuck ourselves? Good morning! Hello. There's so much going on. I, I barely started breakfast. This a joke? Ha ha ha. What is this, some kind of joke? What day is today? February 1st. Again? It happens on the same day every year. I think, I think I'm supposed to stop things from happening because I know that I'm in the loop. Oh my gosh! I can't believe those kids! I should have, I should have opened this window. Because I know that it's going to, to the ball's going to come in. So, so we have to start paying attention as to what's going on. Could just change the channel? And we couldn't afford it anyway. Nice chat. I gotta stop the cat. I'm trying to stop the cat. He's gonna kill the goldfish. Fine. <laughs> that actually works. Any of that food are at it again. I I need to make her a milkshake. You gotta pay attention. Know anything about music? Stop talking. Sophie, I don't care about the stupid. Don't don't drive the car. Don't drive the car. Sophie, you don't even have your license. I'll get some jazz playing. Oh, <laughs> so if you don't make her a smoothie. She drives the car into the living room. It's like restart scene to. Oh god, we can do it again. We have to try and get it right. Stop Sophie from crashing the minivan. That's the current goal. Is that a vegan magazine? I need to shoo the, the cat. He's in the magazine. Cat. Whoa! Hey, Mr. Agro. What's the deal? Don't, you'll thank me later. She needs late. her smoothie. What's in it? Do I put this in the blender? Help. There it is. Then smoothie. Ice. Where's ice? Oh, yes. That's I need a cup. Idea. I need a cup. Bacon and eggs? I'm, I'm not making you bacon and eggs. Tablets. Hey, Sophie. Maybe a t shirt gun. Nice then All right. That sounds fun. I need ice. Yes. Jake will take it. Don't drive the car. I need ice. You people are unbelievable. I told you I'm not eating any. I'll be right with you, ma'am. I'll catch it. I'll catch enough! Don't drive the car! I, I can do it. I can do it. Good morning. Good morning. There's so much going There's on. So much and I going barely on. started I, I breakfast. barely started breakfast. Ned calls. In just a minute, your phone's going to ring. And it's going to be Ned. He is going to spend the rest of the morning talking to your ear. I need off to convince her. Ceremony, but you can't let him. I need you to hang up. I'll fix it all. Don't worry. Instead. Hi, Ned. There we go. No, no. We're there making progress. Things. Ned? I'm gonna have to call you back. How the did you know? I told you, Mom. I have lived this day before. I'm psychic. Again. I've seen this movie Every before. Day, it's exactly the same. My goodness. Why have you heard of Bill Murray? It was real? Your father's stories? I thought they were just fables. You mean this is what happened to Dad? Oh my God. This was his big secret? I need to get to the window. Mom's keeping me too long. Your dad used to say he felt like he I can't travel. My hands are perilous. I made the smoothie. I made the smoothie. I'll call you later. You, you need to let me go faster. Barely started breakfast. Mom, I gotta move. Okay. Open the window. How is everything going? Hey, Mr. Agro. What's the deal? You'll thank me later. Open the dresser. But the drawer, not the dresser. I got it. Breakfast is served. Oh my god. Is this yes, a Zen don't worry smoothie? About that. Don't crash the car into the living room. Uncle Phil, you're the coolest uncle ever. Make sure to follow my vlog. It's called uh, Glass Half Filled. Nope. Hard pass. There. That's you fair. See? I don't blame you. <laughs> now that you're relatively calm, I gotta ask, what were you so upset about anyway? I can't hear you over the bacon. Hang on. Bulletproof in concert tonight. Just a second, sweet potato. Did you say shiny, happy, bulletproof? You know your grandfather used to play piano with Teddy Smith. Grandpa TV. knew Teddy Smith? A few weeks ago, he sent me a, oh, what do you call it? A VIP pass? What? Everything is so solved. I thought, but honestly, I was like, the heck am I going to do with this? And it's good for two people, so you can take a friend. Too bad none of my friends. I, I don't know who she is. It worked. Gonna vlog and I'm going to LA, people. And this guy's my ride to the airport. Please don't let a meteor hit him or a feral groundhog eat him alive before my flight. I gotta stop the fireworks, Nick. Gotta, I gotta stop the fireworks. Nick, you don't understand. It's all gonna go ablaze. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. I gotta warn the people. Junior, could you get up and say something? Mom, everyone's gonna burn. You can film your speech. Whatever you were gonna say about your family to the internet. Certainly, you can say to everyone here. Oh, all right, all right. Oh. Settle down. We're here to celebrate Phil Connors. And to kick things off, here's Phil Jr. to say a little something from the heart. What's up, Punxsutawney? Oh. 
That's right, I'm back in my hometown and taking all of you with me for an extra special episode of Glass Half Film. Oh no, it's like advertising my YouTube channel. Ned dated Dad's sister. Some of you may know this, but in high school, Ned the Head dated Phil's sister, Aunt Mary Pat, a few times, until Dad told him not to anymore. Unfortunately, just, she couldn't make it today. Just embarrassing Ned. Restraining order. She can no longer be in the same zip code as Ned. Things Turns happen. Out whenever Ned sees an opportunity, he charges it like a bull. <laughs> Ned the bull, they call him. And while sometimes that's a good thing, sometimes it He's results a sex in restraining order. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, Let's yes. chat about ice sculpting. My dad once again carving my mom's face. In ice. Sometimes instead so, of ice. Of course it wasn't always ice. Oh, Dad was so multi-talented. And he liked to show off. So sometimes he would try to impress our mom by carving her portrait out of our family breakfast. Her hair was a cascading array of bacon. And her face it was <laughs> a mismatch of, of sausage links and patties, pork and beef alike. He used sunny side up eggs for her ovaries. Oh I, I god! I really didn't have to include, but Like and subscribe to, to my channel, guys. Get off the stage. She's my family and she's telling me to get off. You offended pretty much everyone in that crowd. That was the intention. Not everyone, there was a dog there. He looked pretty happy. <laughs> I'm such an asshole. Mom's really disappointed. She's walking home alone. Anywho, I'm heading over to the tip top to get <laughs> the You wanna come? Mom's walking home alone. Anywho! No, no, you're my ride to the airport, Jake! You're supposed to drive me. Seriously? You're leaving now? Bro, I never see you. There's a reason. I'm on the internet. You can literally watch me online for a hundred straight hours. I don't want to see your stupid videos. No, I want to hang with you in person. Oh, then you'll want to watch vlog number 22. Hanging with Phil in person. I'm an influencer. Haven't you heard the news? There's a blizzard coming. The roads to the airport are already shut down. What? No. No way, that's not possible. I'll take the you risk. Think, you think I care if it's safe? Get me on the <laughs> get plane. Here, even if it means you possibly dying. You got that? Now either get your fat ass in that minivan and <laughs> drive me out of here, or get the hell out of my way. What the I'm hell so is sorry. wrong with you? What? Do you even hear yourself? How you treat other people? He's your family. Him? What about me? What about me? Stuck here. My life I'm is so hard. Oh God, I can't believe I ever let a dipshit like you break my heart. Wait, what? I didn't break your heart. Club, Our breakup actually? Is ha! Yeah, go on telling yourself that, Phil. What you did back then was unforgivable. What? What did I do? Forget it. You're not worth it. I'm never getting out of here, am I? This is the most egotistical man I've ever seen. Influencers. Here's Phil Jr. to say a little something from the heart. What's up, Punk Satani? Don't bother with the speech, uh... it will always fail. I had an epiphany. Ice sculpting is erotic, life is meaningless, I hate ice sculpt. Mm. These are all terrible. These are all uh, terrible. Why my dad had to carve in ice every year. The cold makes your hands lose feeling. And that heightens the sensation throughout the rest of your body. You, you start to feel tingling I'm in so parts sorry. of your body you didn't know existed. Uncle Phil, <laughs> You guys know what weird. I'm saying? Did he? My dad was doing it just to get off. You know how sick that is? It's almost as sick as me talking about what my dad did to get off. Boo! Why? Get off the stage! He's such an asshole! Why'd you turn it off, Junior? You done? I'm not sure if I want to keep going. I'm gonna leave the speech, Ned. I know, I know. My speech offended everyone, but nobody will remember it tomorrow. Mom's really disappointed. She's walking home alone. I think anyway, we messed it I'm up again. To tip top to get a cappuccino. You want to come? Let's go to the cafe. Well, well, if it ain't old Butterfingers, the busboy. Never Please. thought I'd have to lay eyes on your I was an amazing busboy. You were late every day. You ignored the customers. And let's not forget all the plates you dropped. I didn't do too There's well in this job. There's a reason we called you Butterfingers. I didn't drop those plates. I tossed them in the dumpster so I didn't have to wash them. Phil, you're not helping your case right now. One cappuccino hmm. pronto. Does it look like cappuccino, Jake? It's black and steamy and full of macho raw flavor. I'm afraid our trusty Lomaletti espresso machine. I can make cappuccino. This is bull crap. I can't believe this is happening to me. Flamingo, extra pumpkin you spice. You wouldn't have the Lomaletti if it wasn't for my father. He introduced this town to cappuccino. I know that very well, Jake. I also know Phil had his own espresso machine at home. Alice, <laughs> I want to speak to your manager. Dude, it's uh, just coffee. 
It's just Hello, coffee. I'm the manager. Look, you want the cappuccino so bad? Go home and fix your machine yourself. He's a Karen, isn't he? To patch meat wagons and You're a Karen. Off. No, in like the dream sequence again. I thought you said this was going to be fun. It's boring. It just keeps going round and round. Well, I was trapped in a time paradox. A lot of life's going to feel like going round and round the same track. There's a lot that you can learn from repetition. Like, to stop thinking so much about when you're gonna get somewhere. Because you're not. You know, daily quests this in World of Warcraft. It's never getting Employment's a lot like that. We all think the story is all about us. But there are people all around us having stories too. In one day, in one town, in one loop around the track. If you're bored by repetition, it means you're not paying attention to the very Oh, God. <laughs> it's like... Just good luck in the time paradox. This information will help you then. Can I solve this? What the hell? Saying just calm Elise, down could never you helps. Just relax but... so we can talk. Relax? No, I mean just calm down. Oh, calm down. This just never be helps. cool. Be cool? You wanna see cool? You wanna see cool? Go fuck yourself, Phil. Yeah, that's why you don't tell people to calm down. Sophie needs VIP pass. Mom, Sophie wants to go see Shiny Happy Bulletproof tonight. You got a VIP pass, right? Oh, how did you know? I do have it. What? Okay. Are you serious? It's changing. Come take a look at the espresso machine. I can't make it work. Oh, he wants me to take it. Can it's I do that in time? Out. Take a look. What? Well, I. This is different. Okay. This can't be happening to me. This is really, 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 really terrible. That's wrong, Jake. What is wrong with you today, man? You no, I, that's not what I meant. Happy go lucky, no cares in the world kind of guy. Well, you haven't been around much, have you? Now, please, just. Would someone fix this damn machine? Phil used to help Alice keep the old machine at the cafe working too. She might remember a thing or two. Top cafe, Alice? You know what? Forget the cappuccino. We gotta get moving if we wanna get to the ceremony early this morning. Leave without a cappuccino? It's I gonna be I okay. Can, She's I not gonna drive the car through. Hold your horses, Pumpkin. This family's not going anywhere without a healthy breakfast. And I still got all these calls to Okay, I, I, need, oh. I need to make a breakfast. I don't need to worry about the smoothie this time. I just need to make some actual bacon and eggs. Okay, take that off the heat for a moment. I'm just making breakfast. I don't think the eggs are supposed to be this static. Bon appetit! Alright, that's Oh no, 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 no! Junior, and I can't make it work. I'll be with you in a moment. I don't know what I do with all these pets. Hey, my old I don't Open think I can, wide. I just really need a good strong cappuccino. Oh god, my hand! This family's not going anywhere without a healthy breakfast. Broke him gently. And I still got all these calls to make. Fine. Okay, so we need to find the manual at the cafe. Oh no, it's Ned Ryerson again. Skip the speech. We're not gonna do the speech this time, because the speech always upsets someone. Give my notes. Ask Alice to teach you ex espresso machine engineering. Could you get up and say something? I'll pick some slides to show okay, everyone. See you later. Mom's really bummed you wouldn't do a speech. Okay, oh, it just totally shuts good. down if you don't right do here. it. We're getting there. No, I need, I need, I need to ask Rita. I'm sorry, Ned. How to fix an espresso machine? Hi, Alice. Never thought My mom told me that you know how to fix a Loma Letty barista espresso machine, and I was wondering, could you teach me? Well, your dad did leave me some notes on maintenance and repairs. It's actually pretty simple for anyone with basic knowledge of Perfect. Italian mechanics. Huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I don't understand any of this. Que diablo dovre fare? Okay, Butterfingers, oh, no. I'll help you understand the basics. Imagine that you are inside the Lomaletti. Okay, we going inside it? What the f- You see those coffee beans floating around you? You gotta send power to those coffee beans. What? What's going on? <laughs> Oh, oh god, what, what is happening? I, I, I have a projectile. This, this just isn't what I expected. This is how you work I in Starbucks. Right rotation, so is this going to help us fix the coffee machine at home? Are we gonna have to do another shooting gallery? This has been like the most in-depth thing in the entire game so far. It's a Groundhog Day. <laughs> just the name of a coffee. This is more of a trip than the LSD donut. <laughs> Why did the donut cause us to hallucinate so badly? Okay, so those ones move. That's it, Phil. Keep the pressure on the sweet spot. Here we go. I am the coffee master. Did we do it? I think we Good did job. it. Oh my this god. Is how you make an excellent cappuccino.
Chino. Bro, it's just like, what I the fuck just Chino. happened? We can continue the day from here. Let's see what else we can learn. Oh, it's you again. Hello. You're just haunting me today, aren't you? I've been thinking about old Would times. you like a drink? Can I buy you a drink? Are you for real? Why are you so obsessed with me today? Uh, I want to catch up. It's been forever, Sarah. I just want to catch up. Yeah? How long you got? More than your usual two seconds in town? It just seems like you're kind of upset about- You mind if I vlog this? You. What's wrong, Sarah? You really want to know what's wrong? My father literally ruined my life today. You remember how I've always dreamed of having my own bookstore? I do, yeah. Since She's Ned kids, Ryerson cracking down hard. I that about you. I was this close, Phil. Dad promised me the money for the down payment to close the deal tomorrow. But this afternoon, he bailed. Just like that. Poof. Oh my god, that happened to So I need to talk to Can Ned. I buy you a drink and commiserate? In my experience, it takes at least four drinks to forget who you're mad Let's at. drink our problems away. Yes, this is she. <laughs> what? Oh, talk to Ned about Sarah's bookstore. Oh god, no. that was the police. My son's in trouble again. Uh-oh. It's these stupid friends of his. They're troublemakers. I've got to go. Do you want me to come? No, Phil. I don't want you to come. You don't even know John. The last thing I need is another you don't want a drink. from the past. Fair you don't life. want a drink. There's, there's a lot on the menu. We're just here for the rest of our lives, aren't we? There's no escape. Junior! <sighs> Sorry I'm late for movie night. This is Kazowski had triplets. Isn't that amazing? Forget it, Dad. I made other plans. This is going to help us with the speech, I think, with the memories. Oh. What you doing? Sarah asked me to help her with her homework. She's kind of great. I mean, I've known her since we were kids, but this is different. I'm making her a mixtape. Nice move. What kind of music does she like? Um, well, I think what I like. You never asked her. <laughs> Rule number one, kid. Listen. That's it. You can't just walk in here after not even showing up and start bombing me with your nuggets of wisdom like you know everything. But I do, son. I'm all-knowing. I'm a god. Go. Whoa. No, you don't. Have you seen that blizzard outside? Sarah can wait until tomorrow. No, she can't. Ah, oh, you don't get it, Dad. She's never invited me over before. This is everything. And what if something terrible ha happens to you on the way? Then it happens to me. My life, my problem. You don't understand, Dad. Let me tell you a little secret, kid. It's not all about you. Right, because everything's about you. God, you're such a hypocrite. I hate you. I hate you. Is there much I can do uh, like in this part? Oh, video games. You know, I could never get into wasting my time playing the same game over and over and over again. What a this waste. This is a bit matter. <laughs> Let me see if I can write with this. Hang on. Concentrating every ounce of brain power. We deserve this. I tried. What the hell? Yeah, I know. Fuck myself. I know, I know. Go fuck myself. Is that really all you called to say? I got more for you, honey. Blow it out your ass. Oh, well, it's in your insult. Well, be too, sweetie. Make a cappuccino. It's not working, Phil. Oh, God. Oh, no. Okay, uh... Reds need to go to red. Blues need to go to blue. Oh, God. There. Okay. There we go. Don't you think that's a little I made coffee. Bit, we fixed him. Wait, are you crying? Perfect. No, 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 I'm not crying. Hey, is something going on? It's okay, you can talk to me. You've been Mr. Happy-Go-Lucky literally every day of your life. Did I save the fish? today, you've let a stupid cappuccino get you all bent out of shape. Why? It's not the cappuccino. It's, it's, it's everything. I've got a teenager okay. who barely talks to me. The twins are friggin' maniacs. Oh, no. That's fine. My wife's hanging on by He's a He's not friend. doing too good. Well, what would Dad have said to you now? Um, that's good. Man, I don't know. Probably Dad would have said, like, just deal with it not tomorrow. Not about you, Jake. That sounds right. What else? Something like, all over Punxsutawney, people are hungry and tired and striving for meaning, and you're worried about your sweet little caffeine fix? Let it go, son. Get out there today I'm and sure Phil help someone else. Today. God, you sound just like him. Which yeah. means he's not gone. We'll Very always have dad's advice to guide us. This family's not going anywhere without a healthy breakfast. And I still got all these calls to make. Don't worry. The Connors brothers will take care of that. We're going to make breakfast. Come on, dude. Like cooking with dad used to be. To turn on the cooktop. <laughs> I can pick up the egg. That's not a good oh, sign. man, that egg is burnt. I have never actually said these words, dude, but I am not going to eat that. I, I tried. I tried. <laughs> 
we ever gonna patch this? I love it when your voice gets filled with blind rage. You <laughs> calling to say how much you miss me? Ew. Go fuck yourself, Phil. Went a bit better that time. Wait, make breakfast. What about the We make statue? progress each time. We're gonna get this made. We're gonna get this family out of this house alive. I can cook breakfast. This is my hardest challenge yet. And we'll even Wow, great make work, the shake. Bro. I'm not Dude, sure honestly, that's a good this idea. This is as good as the tip top cafe I'm breakfast sure Phil special would have mom loved always it, gets to live. Wait, you mean it's mom would have been just as happy with the delivery from I the know. cafe? I know. Heck yeah. Even happier, probably. Oh, and then we could have gotten to Gobbler's Knob early to get those good spots for the show. She wants an order oh, from the okay. cafe. Okay. Here, take their card. Thank you. Okay, wait, so if we restart that now, we know that she wants an order from the cafe. So we do it again. Fix everything and leave. We know exactly what we're doing. I need that button IRL. <laughs> Fix everything and leave. Ned oh, Ryerson. Great to have you You're Sarah. We have to make amends with Sarah. We have to go talk to John at some point too. Why do you hate bookstores? Ned, I gotta ask. Why do you hate bookstores? I'm, I'm sorry. We gotta What's try to fix the bookstores. Your daughter is counting on you to invest in her bookstore dream. Why are you giving up on her? Dad? Is that true? You're pulling out? What the hell? Confronting well, it. No, I haven't made a decision yet, Pumpkin. I'm just a bit bamboozled right now with the ceremony and everything. This really isn't a good time. Can we talk later at the cafe? We've got we a did ceremony it. We, to we helped. Attend. Actually, I was wondering if I could talk to your son. I'm sorry, what? Well, you two stay right here and catch up. We've got a ceremony to attend. Why the hell would you want to talk to John? It's been too long. I've totally missed his growing up. It's, well, it's killing me. I don't believe a single word you just said. He sprayed graffiti on my car. I'm gonna wring his neck. Yeah, <laughs> okay, that I buy. Crap, now he's gone. Phil, I gotta run. He's over Wait, there. Let me go talk to him for you. Maybe he needs more of a father figure kind of thing. I have no idea what it is you think you're doing, but... Sure. Do you want a coin? Never floats your boat. Just don't try to smoke a cigar with him or teach him to grill a steak. No, I'm gonna not going to teach him anything. Do you think I have something worth teaching? Wow, that's actually really good. Punks, huh? Like uh, Punks and Tani with a punk rock twist. Pretty cool and tag, dude. It's Punk X, not Punks. Oh, right, of course. Although maybe add a dash in there after Punk because it's a little muddy right now. This isn't going to go dude. well. What the hell do you want? And what you're planning on doing tonight, it's not gonna end great. In fact, your scrawny ass is going to jail. What? Bullshit. You don't know what I'm planning. You don't know anything about me, dude. It was We're just your an dad. idiot who likes to bother people. Your mom. I dated her in high school. Oh yeah? I dated your mom in high school, <laughs> bitch. I don't think this really? helped. Just saying, we've been to the same place, kid. Huh? You came out of it. Oh, Jesus! What the fuck, dude? Get the hell out of here, man. I can't believe I just wasted five minutes of my life. We tried. Oh, come on, that we'll, was like we'll, we'll two help him next match. time. I used to be like well, just you. Hey, 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 I get it. Down. You're angry. But then I took an hour to the knee. Authority figure. But trust me, dude. I've been there. I used to be just like you. <laughs> what the hell do you have to be angry at? Uh... You're a cock I'm stuck in this freaking town. You and everyone else. No. You misunderstand. I mean, literally. Oh, Phil, you're ruining it. You could have helped. He doesn't like the town. Or say, I end up back here today. Dude, get lost. I wish I could, but it seems like I gotta fill the void left in you by the absence of a positive fatherly role model if I want to oh, make Jesus. amends for your mom's broken heart. You said too much there. Get the hell out of here, man. Punk hey, X, right? Do you like you? Fortnite Battle oh, Royale? Don't tell me the plan. Don't tell me what the hell you're planning tonight. Seriously, Picasso, it's gonna go real bad for you. And worse, for me. So please just stop messing this around and help. talk to me. I don't know you. I, I don't like you. And I'm definitely not telling you anything about my life. You know what, kid? I don't like you either. <laughs> no, Phil. Get the hell out of here, man. Honestly, you're a cockblock, dude. What? Okay, we'll move on for now. I don't think we can help the kid just yet. But if we keep going on, we might be able to learn something more. Junior, you come on over here and say hi to your Uncle Ned. Hey, Ned, how's it going? Why am I so small? Tell me about Ned Ryerson. Oh, what's on your mind? Nice. You know, Ned's an open book, sir. Why do you hate bookstores? All right, you wouldn't talk about it in front of your daughter, but now you have to. Your daughter's counting on you to invest in her bookstore, Ned. Why are you giving up on her? It's a flat offense. It's not real. I've spent my entire adult life considering risk and investing wisely. I did it. You know this is Sarah's dream. If you don't help her out, she'll be crushed. Come on, she's smart. She won't mess this up. 
Junior, you're as unrealistic as my daughter sometimes. This bookstore of hers is is a whimsy. It's a it, it's a poof of an idea. It's it, well, it's no Ryerson shuffle. Ned, you're a real asshole. What's a Ryerson shuffle? A Ryerson shuffle. Is that something you would invest in? Sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. I really should get back to work, Junior. These tax returns won't fill out themselves. Toodaloo. Taking your tax returns. So Ned wanted to ask you, what's a Ryerson shuffle? Who told you about that? Um, you did. You did. A long time ago, you were wasted. I mean, it was, well, it was something very important to me and my daughter. <laughs> Not really something she'd want me to discuss it. Just like scalding hot coffee. I mean, I dated Sarah for so long, so she certainly must trust me implicitly after all of those years, right? Oh, so are we pretending I'm the bullseye? Oh, this is fun. I'm sorry, Junior. I know you have. What? Well, well, I suspect you have the best of intentions in asking. Oh, no, it's on to me. Unless Sarah told you herself, I don't feel right talking about private family matters. You understand? I need to get Sarah to tell me herself. Tell me about the Ryerson shuffle. Whatever you're up to, it's just not gonna to end know, well, Phil. What's the Ryerson shuffle? Oh my god, I haven't heard that name in ages. There we go. It's just a silly dance my dad and I made up. Wait, it's what? Do you want a drink? It's a dance? Did you seriously just like throw that at me? Family? Sorry. I'm assuming it's sexy. Shut up. It meant a lot <laughs> to us. After my mother left, we used to dance to cheer each other up. You know, dad is so risk averse. Always seeing potential catastrophe everywhere. Whenever Dance, he did say. do the Ryerson shuffle, he'd let go and have fun. Da, 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 da. <laughs> damn risks. Oh yeah, I can just go to restart day. Okay, Technology. So. Yeah, we have an app for that. Okay, can I take your order? Right. We're doing it. Hi, Alice. Hey, can I have this? We're fixing the, the timeline. To Rita Connor's to house on Cherry yeah, Street. Bro. Thanks. <laughs> there we go. That's one down. Junior, did you order breakfast? I did. Leave now. Listen, I have to go. I'll see you at the ceremony. There we go. We just ordered breakfast and that solved all family disputes. I mean, that's how it works in the real world, you know? I need to finish this statue for mom. How do I do this? I don't know what I'm doing. I might be here a while. Am I doing it right? Come on. Come on. It's very hard to line this up. I imagine I'm under time constraints too. We gotta go faster. I ruined it. No. I took too much off. I think I'm supposed to do this. <laughs> no! <laughs> just get fucked, Dad, get fucked! I fixed it. Let me just quickly restart this one. <laughs> Gotta do it layer by layer. Again, tomorrow. Fuck. Bill Connors is not oh, you, Wolf Hop Dog! Oh, dog. fuck yourself, Neddy. This is going to be just oh, amazing. Sorry, Ned. Need to go I to the alley. Need to go do some things. We have to stop Jake. I know your friends suck. Well, I know that the hoodlums you've chosen to hang out with are not good influences on you. Seriously, you have no idea why I hang out with them. Hang out the with drugs? Them. Fake ID, no, no girlfriend. He gets arrested. Drugs. You hang out with whoever can score the good stuff. You know, the puff puff, the snoot snoot, whatever you think you today. What are you, a narc? I don't need those assholes to get high. Really? Then why are you even hanging out with them? Look. I hang out with them because they're like a totally OG crew, okay? There Their we go. burners are off the hook. Burners? Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, I can dig that. I don't know what Only burners are. I'm not as hip as this kid. <laughs> like, you know anything about graffiti? Hey, you're looking at a local legend, mister. Am I gonna be able to make graffiti? What was your tag? What My you name was Kill Phil. Kill Phil. K-I-L-F-I-L. Who's Phil? Me and my dad and the groundhog. But not me. I didn't want people to kill me. Your dad, then? No. Well, not really. No, the groundhog. Yeah, I don't know. That's pretty confusing. We're getting there. In retrospect, you're right. It's not super clear. All right, kill Phil. But did I do it? You think you can impress me? Let's see what you can do. And maybe we'll talk. I just... Ah! <laughs> Try not to paint outside the area. I'm doing my best. You are no David Cho. Come on, you can't criticize art. I put a little bit of my soul into this thing. I did it. soul to yourself. I... Nobody wants this sappy shit. I'll try it again. I can do it. I can win his love by vandalizing. I'm gonna get arrested instead. Try not to paint outside the area. I still did it. Doing the best I can. It's really tricky to be too precise with it. Like, Jesus. <laughs> no, he's not impressed. I did Keep it. Keep practicing like that. 
It may be in a few years, you'll be as good as I was when I started. This is the toughest one yet. What are you doing? Just sit back and learn. This is a different one. I'm a gangster now, guys. I'm, I'm really good at this. You can tell that I was like a hoodlum in my youth too, you know? I was a young rack scallion. Not bad. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Especially for an old man like you. Keep practicing. Come back here, little shit. Let's do the rise and shuffle. You know what, Ned? You're a great dad. Now, why would you go and say something like that? Because Sarah told me something really touching and a little embarrassing, but mostly touching. She told me about the Ryerson Shuffle. I just wish someone would do a Ryerson Shuffle with me, you know? Do you think maybe? Oh, no. I mean, you're breaking my heart here, kiddo, but now, here, with all these people watching come on you and do me. it i don't know i mean go over there i guess for phil connor's sure put a15 on the jukebox did i do it? it this is dancing here we go why don't you try that again junior this time good <laughs> That's all you guys right now. Sit down, you're gonna make me bomb up my chicken farm. <laughs> Imagine dancing so bad you make someone physically ill. Murder <laughs> suicide. That was. I gotta get going, Junior. There was no Sarah's advance bookstore. notice. Sorry. If I don't dance well enough, Sarah's bookstore is closed. Thank you, sir. Me and Sarah had a whole bunch of names for our little cha cha cha. The Rusty Ryerson, the Ashamed Accountant, the Grinding Groundhog. Jesus okay, Christ. Ooh. Got it. Junior, I open the book feel shop. alive. I haven't taken a risk like that since, well, since the day. I'm sorry. It's just, all those years ago, it was so oh, hard to left. I didn't know how to raise Sarah alone. Hey, Ned, let's do some more dancing. Don't break Sarah's heart. I'm Ned, sorry. I know you love your daughter, but if you don't invest in her bookstore today, it's going to break her heart. You are right. We did it. <laughs> Mission Bing. accomplished. I got to go with my heart. I got to do it. I got to go tell Sarah. Ned, I. <laughs> never said this, but sometimes when I look into your eye- No, don't come back here! Look, I know I haven't really been on the radar lately, but mm -hmm. I want to make it up to you. How about that drink? Get in there. What? I'll be right there. Okay, I gotta do graffiti oh, next. Guess. By, what by doing that with John, we can make amends with Sarah. When John gets something in his head, I just have to do Gobbler's Knob and do the speech. Have a good night. We're almost there. We're so close yeah, on well. this. Listen, I have to go. I'll see you at the- Is this right, right now? Do I have to do the statue in that again? There's Americans! Oh my god! I didn't notice. I think that right? Almost have it. Okay. I think it's that done. actually looks really good. I did it. Oh. We're almost there. We've almost yeah. got everything done. But it's at moments like this, more than any other time, that you need to remember the Ryerson Shuffle. Oh my god, seriously? Our dance? I haven't thought about the old Ryerson Shuffle in years. <laughs> Oh, look at them go. Dad, Phil is right. There you go, well Let's said. We can do this bookstore together. No risk, no joy. All right. Let me run uh, We, numbers, we fix our relationship just like that. Round of applause. Junior, Round of a applause. Very nice thing you did. Thank you. I gotta still stop the kid. We go to the alley. Once we get all this sorted, we go to the ceremony, we give the speech. I think we fix the day. We've almost fixed the timeline. You clearly got talent, kid, but... You are a whiny punk next to my mad burner skills. Oh, ho ho! Crash talk. Oh, this last one doesn't seem too hard. Sweet! Sweet! Oh no. I'd rather do the Ryerson shuffle again than this. Oh my gosh! Oh. That shit is dope! You got some serious skills- Fuck you. Honestly, you have real talent. I'm impressed. How did you do it? But I wanted to be as good as those assholes who tag under the bridge. So? I just didn't give up, you know? That whole just not giving up idea, that wasn't a part of my vocab at your age. Dude, I'm kind of impressed. Thanks. 
that means something coming from an artist like you. So I'm an artist. Later. You have like Don't you forget it. Guys. You guys are gonna go throw some burners up somewhere potentially illegal that might send you all to jail. Shiny Happy Bulletproof is playing tonight, and they're totally sold out. Don't do so, it, kid. The guys and me, supposedly, they got a way to sneak in. Look, I got bad news. You're gonna get caught, and it's gonna suck. But guess the what? Ticket. Oh, I know no. someone who has a VIP pass. You're kidding. You know my niece, Sophie Connors. Sophie? Yeah, sure. She's in my science class, but she never go out with me. What? Dude, what you you, know, you two are like in the same class. She she's vegan. Well, she's vegan. Maybe ask her about it. That's the secret. That's all you gotta know. I like falafel. Go. There's like an age difference of like awesome. seven years so between these two characters. I mean, cool. Whatever, man. Fuck off. Fuck you too, little kid. How about that drink? Is that my son with your niece? Looks like they're on a date. There they go. Well, good man yourself. Look, I just want to make amends. Oh. Maybe you have some We're fun. We're almost there. World time steak? I'll bite, but I'm bailing if this gets weird. Now, where'd old Joe go? Who needs old Joe? I'm the best bartender in Pittsburgh. That's I... not saying a lot. Come on, I'll make the drinks. I'm gonna have to make you these drinks. Back there. What are you, a bar cop? What do I stash? You're the big shot bartender. Okay, and then we need a glass. Who would ever mix that? Just the look of it makes me want to see. Of course, I need to check the menu. I'm checking the menu. What do you want? There. Drink goes in glass. No. I'm party. starting over. Look, this was fun, but I'm gonna get going. Really? Yeah, There's a lime. Is kind of a dead and where's the? Don't make this weird. Maybe we can meet up tomorrow. Yeah, that's. I made it! I made it! I thought you were staying. I made it! Oh, Take I'll my drink! <laughs> no! Oh, these VR shaky ass hand. Hey, you want some tequila, bro? <laughs> my hand is bleeding terribly. Is this Chardonnay? No, no, no. Oh, you can take it out. That makes it much easier. I love it. We did all that faffing about. I'm impressed, Phil. You want some pineapple juice? To all the introverts and bookworms of Punxsutawney and their new refuge. Amen. <laughs> That's so funny. That's what I was going to toast to. Really? How weird. I can't believe I'm standing here with you, Phil. Celebrating. Oh, come on. We are celebrating your future bookstore with an amazing drink. Yeah, we are. Thanks. You don't know how many times I made plans over the years for what I was going to say to you. All the ways I was finally going to tell you to your face what an asshole you were. Go on, I can take it. Have at it. I can take it. Let's get it out in the open. It's not worth it. We don't get a do-over. Life only happens once. I get many do-overs. Yeah. That's what I thought too. But here I am. You should just have called. I more remember gin? we got in that big fight and you stormed out, so I left. <laughs> To Pittsburgh. You emptied our apartment in the middle of the night. And that was that. I never heard from you again. Not a call, not a breakup text. I don't have a drinking nothing. problem. I didn't even know if you were alive or dead. That was the day I got fired Let from the cafe. Let me just top up the glass here. It was a fight. A bad one. But we were gonna get married, Phil, and that's all it took. Wait, we talked about... <laughs> Did you say no? I said... I didn't <laughs> Oh no! I died. I gotta do it all again. Oh no! I can't believe I just ruined that scene by drinking two bottles of gin and just vomiting all over. Oh my god! There we go. I got my drink. I spill our drink? I think I did. But we were gonna get married, Phil, and that's all it took. Wait, we talked about marriage? You asked me if I wanted to that night. Uh -oh. Did you say no? I said I didn't think you were ready. Clearly that triggered something. It got real, Phil. And you ran away. Just like you've run from everything that was Wait, ever. Did that check it off on the yeah. list? Yeah. I guess I sort of no, did. No, it didn't. I'm sorry. Hang on. Let me get a chair, I'm Sarah. Sorry. I want you to know that I'm sorry. I'm sorry for not calling after the fight forever ago. I'm sorry I walked out. I'm sorry I made you worry. I'm sorry I broke our hearts. I don't deserve your forgiveness. <laughs> Having an emotional moment, get Sarah. Chance to earn it. I was gonna grow <sighs> up, build my bookstore, and have love babies with Punxsutawney's own rock star. I did have the <laughs> hair for it. Yeah, if only you'd learn to play that guitar. I feel very short all of a sudden. 
<laughs> I have to you look up. Your... If I remember right, a guy playing guitar was once your kryptonite. <sighs> My self-respect kryptonite. I think it still is. Oh, needless to say, I am a bit rusty. Okay, let's do this. One, two, three. Oh four. my god. I want to get that sounding right. Come on. Sounds like you've been practicing. Yeah, Thank you very much. Maybe a little. Your dad believed you would be a rock star. What? No, he didn't. He hated my guitar playing. He told me I was terrible. You were terrible. But you had charisma. Maybe he was trying to inspire you to be better. Dayton County Fair, Summer 99. Biggest crowd I ever played, and dad didn't even show. Wait, Summer of 99? Yes. And we partied like it was. You were there. No, I wasn't. Phil, your dad wasn't there because he was with me. In the cafe. Crying my eyes out over you. Oh. Oh no. You blew me off when there wasn't room in the van. Told me to get a taxi. I was done with you. Then your dad came in. He was getting food to go, telling everybody how he was headed to his son's show. I tried to hide, but he saw me. He ordered milkshakes and sat down. He said, a star like you would have a million more shows and I shouldn't sweat missing this one. Your dad loved you, Phil. Remember him how you want, but I know he was the best. It wasn't easy oh. being the son of the best. Compared to most dads, mine is a weirdo. My son's is a loser. You won the dad lottery. Phil, it's not easy being a parent. You have no idea. Well, I'll find out soon enough if I can ever get out of here. What do you mean? <laughs> Wait, never mind. Sorry, I haven't told anybody this. I haven't even really processed it myself. But my girlfriend, Elise, back in Pittsburgh, well, she's maybe kind of pregnant. Wait. Oh, God. What? Wow. It's really early, but, you know, we maybe... I didn't know that either. ...talked about moving in together, and, and then Streamler called, and, you know, they're everything I thought I wanted. So, instead of piling boxes into a two-bedroom, I'm stuck here, halfway to Hollywood, and far away from all of the terrifying... Oh, God. ...life crap. What's she like, this Elise? She's... We have Great. lovely conversations every morning. She's funny. She's talented. She sells these little hand-knit iPhone cozies on Etsy. Aww. And she's the first woman to see through my bullshit. Since you. But we're kind of in that fun phase of dating where she calls me every morning and tells me to go fuck myself. <laughs> Can I give you some unsolicited advice, Phil? Yes. Sure. Let me have it. I think there's a reason you're here talking to me tonight. And it's not whatever you had in your head. I think you needed your best friend back, so someone can tell you this. If you can't learn from your mistakes, 
If you keep doing the same stupid thing over and over, you really are in a time loop, pal. Right. And heavy. <laughs> Dad, Phil. Dads don't have to be perfect. They just have to be there. Like I think you day. know what you need to do. And it's not here with me. I think we did it. And unlocked something else. I thought you and Sarah were happy, Junior. Why the sudden rush to leave? Anything I can say to talk you out of it? Yeah, you can stay out of it. You're making a mistake. You think there's someone better out there, somewhere better. But everyone and anywhere is perfect. If you just stay quiet long enough to listen to their soul sing. Oh That's my so God, do you even that listen just... to yourself? You're like a walking fortune It's not falling, Landon. You think you're so evolved, so magically perfect at everything. You're wrong there. I'm not perfect at everything. I'm certainly not perfect at being a dad. Being a dad is hard. I've just had lots of time to practice all the small stuff. Lots and lots of free time. See, you're always saying crap like that. What does that even mean? There are so many things I want to tell you, but you're not ready to believe me. No matter what I say, no matter how I explain it, you, you'll still think it's a metaphor or I'm insane because my stories are not possible. When will I be ready? Maybe when, maybe when you're a dad. I never listened to him. Wow, Sarah was right. I didn't break. Things getting too real with Elise, and I just bolted. Jesus, <laughs> something's wrong with me. Seriously, Phil? You're in Punxsutawney? There's a new option. What the hell? Listen, Elise, I'm sorry. Did I call the wrong number? I'm sorry I left. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. Elise, my whole life I have run from my family, from my life, and I don't want to run anymore. Okay, well, I'm glad you at least know you fucked up. Yeah, I fucked up. You really fucked up. Do you even want to be a dad, Phil? Uh, yeah, I do. I think I do. I don't think I was ready before. I'm ready, Elise. We're ready. Trust me, I have had a long time to think about things. You literally just left last night. I'm sorry. No, Phil, I don't want you apologizing to me over the phone. You want me to have this baby with you? You need to come home tomorrow. Believe me, I'm gonna try my hardest. Just let me know when you're coming, Phil. I'll be here. There we go. That's wrapped up with Elise. Elise is pregnant. Listen, Mom, there's uh, something we need to talk about. If this is about those uh, magazines I found in your <laughs> drawer, I'm sorry. I no, I'm sorry I found time. them too. No, my girlfriend is pregnant. What? You haven't met her. Her name's Elise. She's, you'll like her. Oh my goodness, that's wonderful. Guys, Junior's gonna be a father. New development for the day. Tell everyone. Got a few phone calls you want to make? Let's tell the whole neighborhood. Go, bro. Just think. Uh, Ooh, we can yay. Do play now. yay. I wish Dad was here to see you. Congratulations from Ned. He would tell you exactly hey. what you needed to hear. Yeah? What would he say? He'd tell you that your life is not all about you anymore. Once you become a parent, you can't help but put your kids needs above your own. You have no. to let go of that selfish We're part of yourself. We're not ready yet. So We're going to be late. Become good people. Eat no, breakfast. what about me? All I wanted to do was see Shiny Happy Bulletproof. Shiny Happy Bulletproof? Isn't that Teddy Smith's band? There you know, we go. He sent me a VIP pass. All coming together. Concert. You know who you should invite? John Ryerson or should I say Punk X? I can't believe you're starting your own family. Dad would be so proud. You know the sculpture they're putting up in Gobbler's Knob? We didn't actually get to finish it. It was going to be of the whole family. Your father was making it for our anniversary. He had just begun working on it when he... I'm sorry he couldn't finish it, Mom. Okay, Thank new information. You. Leave now. Let's finish the statue. It all started with a Zen smoothie. This is it. I know this is what you wanted. For Mom. Here we go. Thanks, Dad. Statue done. Junior! Since when can you do something like this? Since today. I guess I have a little more of the old man in me than I thought. Do you mean... Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, I just... It... Dad used to tell stories, but... I never believed him. I know, Mom, I know. I've talked about it many times. I mean, on many todays. Just like you and Dad did. You've grown so much since yesterday. You're ready, Philip. I wish he was Maybe here. we can give the speech now. I this day so many begin times, Mom. I wish I could begin the ceremony. Could I borrow you after the ceremony? 
There's something I'd like to show you. Now, come on. Someone's got to get up there and make a speech. They're all gold. Phil Jr. to say a little something from the heart. So this is me and my folks. Well, it's all coming together. We're getting a good night. end. But you know, it can't be easy being a dad or a mom. Right, mom? Trying to connect to a kid who's pulling away, kicking and screaming. Trying to form his own identity. Looking oh, back on that wow. summer now, I realized dad wasn't trying to show me up. He was trying to spend time with me. And the Beautiful. truth is, he was right about me all those years. I wasn't ready to take on that zombie army. I wasn't ready to know his secrets. I wasn't ready to grow up. Hey, Mom. Thanks for believing that maybe, finally, I'm ready. Oh, my God. That's a pretty moving speech. It's come a long way. Okay, okay. It wasn't that special, guys. Okay, there's Jake and my dad in the aprons. You know, because we had dinner every night as a loving family. Blah, blah, blah. All right, I gotta admit. I used to think... I knew my brother, Big Lug, who's just insanely content with his life every single day, until today. The one day I get stuck at home is the day Jake decided to be an angry, miserable son of a bitch. It sucked more for me than for him, I promise you. But I realize now he was always so happy before because he had something I didn't. A guide, a mentor, he actually listened to our dad in their nightly cooking sessions. It's a bit late, I know, but I wish I'd spent more time listening to you, Dad. And Jake, I will make the best cappuccino for you every day if it helps keep that smile on your face. It's so Promise. sweet. Guy just loves his family now. Another one down? Lola, did you get the video? What did you think? Oh, I didn't call Lola before the speech. Yeah. But I think it's yeah. okay. Let me do my producer magic and get this baby out to Streamblet ASAP. And Phil, get your ass to the airport before you miss your flight. I don't think there is a way out, Lola. Oh no. That was beautiful, Junior. Mom is here now too. Now I want to show you something. As soon as I saw that sculpture, I knew what you were going through. It's hidden behind the posters. Oh. There is something there. Oh. I there forgot how beautiful it was. This was the alley where old man Collins died on Groundhog Day. He took his last breath in your father's arms. Oh Jesus, when you say it like that, it sounds like dad strangled him. <laughs> no. Your father could do so many things, but no matter how many times he tried again and again, how many skills he learned, he couldn't save old man Collins. He told me he painted this mural as a way to remind himself of what he learned that day. He was graffiti. <laughs> Iron Star. Is that star supposed to be heaven or something? Heaven, nothingness, whatever you want. I think for Phil, it was a reminder not to take any of this for granted. What do you mean? Phil told me once he had learned to adjust to hopelessness. That he had to let go. And just embrace it. 802. What's that? Every night, by cold bricks glow, I watch the shadow rising from this old man in the snow. At 802, we let it go. Did you just freestyle that? It's a haiku your father wrote about that night with old man Collins. <laughs> of course it is. The guy seems pretty happy to be dead. Your father always thought that death was not a tragedy. It was more like being released. You sure dad didn't murder him? When dad died, it happened suddenly. And he knew what was happening. But then he smiled at me and he said, it's okay. I'm ready. And then he took a last breath, and he let it go. But Mom, what if I never get out of it? I've helped people today. I've made amends. I've made lives better. If every day starts all over again, what does any of it matter? Oh, it matters, Junior. You know, I remember what must have been Phil's last day in the loop. He gave the most beautiful speech at Gobbler's Knob that morning. And that night, everyone in town was coming to thank him for something he'd done for them. He even carved me an ice sculpture just to see me smile. He made it the perfect day. All from the film. And I think he must have realized he had to live every day as if it would be the day that mattered. Until eventually, it was. But believe me, when he finally got to tomorrow, from that first morning he woke up with me, he lived every second of his life with joy and gratitude. Good morning. 
reason this is my favorite film. Got a very good message come the end. You're doing great, Junior. Just glue the tail on the kite and it'll be done. You sure it's not too windy out here, Dad? No, it's perfect. Uh, there's a strong southward gust coming off Lake Erie, giving us sustained winds of probably He's doing about his miles routine. per hour. But, but, Dad, what if I can't hold on and it gets blown away? Well, then it gets blown away. Just like everything, kid. That kite, your mom and me, every comic book you collect, and at some point or another, you gotta let it all go. Why? That's just the way it works. But what happens if I don't want to let it go? Life doesn't really care what you want. <laughs> Everything comes to an end. Just like that carousel ride at the mall you didn't want to get off of last week. The one that made me throw up? For the record, I told you <laughs> not to eat pizza right before you got on. You little shit, that's your I own like fault. I like pizza! <laughs> Life is a lot like that carousel. You'll go round and round. You'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll eat pizza and you'll puke and then it ends that's life it's a lot of existentialism for like a four-year-old <laughs> child well i tried my best i hope one day you'll know that it, it's fucking powerful right now how are you holding up oh no <laughs> i should call alice order breakfast so i can leave early and finish the statue i miss you dad Every loop could be my last. Every day could be the one that sticks. Elise, I want to have this baby with you. I want us to be a family. Believe me, I am trying my hardest to come back home. Okay. Well, just let me know when you're coming, Phil. I'll be here. Guys, I got news. My girlfriend Elise is pregnant. I'm gonna be a dad. We gotta break the cycle somehow this time. Oh my god. We said this before, this wasn't yeah, enough to break it. Wonderful news. My brother's fucking coming for us. Congratulations, oh, bro. bro! And now you're so happy you don't even need a cappuccino this morning. It's okay, I gotta leave now. Day. Gonna be a good day. We're gonna hopefully get out of this time loop. I tried to make it perfect just like Dad did. I don't understand. It's okay, Mom. Now I have to give a speech. We've done all these slides, haven't we? Today, Ned. Thanks for coming. Nice to be here. Oh. Hey again, everyone. None of you are going to remember this, so I'm just going to level with you. I've made this speech so many times now, I've lost count. I wake up every day right here in Punxsutawney, and it's always the day before Groundhog Day. And there's... Oh, God, something different's happening. It. And the kicker is, the one person who would have understood is the dead guy we're here to celebrate. See, it turns out my dad and I had a lot more in common than I ever knew. And here's the real kicker. My girlfriend Elise is pregnant. I'm gonna Oh god, he's just telling everyone. <laughs> Good one, Junior. No, no, no. Thank you, but it's That's right. Kind of I knocked someone up. I'm never getting home. People never going gathered to here in Puxatani. All I can imagine is that it's because I got I'm laid. Still not ready and you all didn't. To be a dad. Thank you. No, I know. Sure I know. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. It's a no, big it's deal. Funny. Sorry. I think I get it now, dad. The only way he made peace with an eternity of one day was by making it all about you, the people of Punxsutawney. He lived that day over and over until it was damn near perfect. This is a crazy person so, speech. I guess we'll all be doing this again tomorrow, but I'll make you a promise. I'll try again to make this day as perfect for all of you as I can. Okay? I'm trapped in this hell. beautiful. Mom was crying through the whole thing, just... I'm sorry, wow. I was terribly upset. It was just like this is us. Thanks, guys. Don't worry, Mom. I know what you're thinking. And I remember, at 802, we let it go. We've done this before, haven't we? Just like your dad. <laughs> yeah. And again, Everyone else is just like, what the fuck are you talking about? Mary? Did you have a good day, Mom? I did. Thank you so much for that speech today, Junior. No problem. It really touched my heart. Glad to hear that. All right, I'll stop poking. Him. Over In your speech, what you said about living this day over again. Is that actually happening? Is that It's a metaphor for day-to-day -day life. But if we really are doing this all over again tomorrow, can we do it all exactly the same? I mean, I think today turned out pretty gosh darn great. How are you guys doing? Um, uh, can I help you, weirdo? Uh, don't I just want a third wheel. That's my Uncle Phil. No, he's actually pretty cool. Ha, huh, yeah, what she said. I'm just happy to see I'm you. I'm just leaning in. Hey, dude, this is you. You're blowing Hey, up. guys. Uh, what are you talking about? You having hey, fun? Someone posted the video of the speech you made, and 
it's going viral. You know, people love it. You know, even Streamler reposted it. Desperate Streamler? Streamler? ...in attempt to stay young? What? I wasn't desperate. What? It's got four million views. That's desperate a... it is. That's a viral hit. Hey, that thing you talked about up on stage today about every day being the same. You know, Grandpa Phil actually told me about that. Yeah, he did a lot of drugs. If each day's exactly the same, what happens if you talk to a guy on the street? And the next day you don't. Does the guy just like talk to the air or something? It's all about the branch and timelines and dimensions. Start... Are we all repeating this day over and over again and you're the only one who knows? Parallel dimensions. Does that man's whole life and his children and his grandchildren still happen in some other time stream? You seriously just blew my mind. Yeah. I actually just seen Doctor Who, don't yeah, worry, kid. Just, I gotta say, Sophie, you got a lot more going on than I gave you credit for. Wow, you said That's such a, nice a thing. mean thing to say. Thanks, Uncle Phil. You took it as a compliment, but that's so mean. It's like, Jesus, you think. After seeing you today, I think you're going to do just fine, Phil. Wow, are you? thanks, Sarah. That means a lot. But how the hell are you? What's going on in Sarah Ryerson's town? I mean, look over there. John on a date with your niece. I haven't seen him look that happy in so long. And I'm finally opening my bookstore. Do you know how long I've dreamed about this? Since we were kids. I love that you never gave up. Even though everything's digital now and your business model is really That's broken awesome. a very interesting way. <laughs> Don't be a dick. Hey, wanna help me move some boxes into the store tomorrow? I could use an extra oh, set of hands. Oh, she'd be more tomorrow? friendly. Sure, why not? Um, I think I've gotta continue the day. I don't know if, uh, how the cycle works now. Every loop could be my last. Every day. What the hell? She never calls me this Oh way. shit. This is different. Phil, I think I just felt the baby kick. Or, wait. Is it too early for that? You know what? I think it was just last night's tacos. Oh my god, is this real? Is it really tomorrow, Elise? Uh, baby, it's today. Yes! Today is tomorrow! You did it! I made it! <laughs> uh, I, I sound crazy. I just came home. Wait, the ultrasound, it was today. It was early this morning. So you saw it. Well, is it a boy or a girl? They can't tell this early. Besides, I don't I'm a father now, guys. Whoever shows up, I just want her to have a clean slate. You just said her. Uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> I hate to break it to you. It's gonna be a boy. <laughs> so you can I'm so sorry. I can make her laugh. You won't believe what's going on right now. Groundhog Day. I made it. Holy crap! It's tomorrow. I mean today. Never been so happy. It was Groundhog Day. What the hell are you talking about? Long story. Great speech yesterday. Ready, Grumpaholic, Streamler called. Love these guys. They love me. What do you think, Internet? Should we make out? Oh shit, sell out? <laughs> Lorne. Yeah, I... You sound like a lot of people I know. These lunatics actually gonna miss him. Spoiler, I forced them the way for this picture. Enough family stuff, where's the rants? Yeah, stop just vlogging, you know? Where's the funny gameplay? I'm home, I'm gonna be a dad. Though only dad jokes from now on. God help us all. Get out while you still can. Last half filled is back in Punk Satani. Am I insane? A glutton for punishment? Risking a whiplash inducing time loop scenario? Maybe, but worth it for the family to meet the newest member of the Connors. We had a child! I'm a father now! Would you trust me with your child's life? This was the sequel to Groundhog Day, a film made 26 years ago starring Bill Murray. It came out last year. <laughs> I don't know why either, but we did it! Oh my god, we're the groundhog. Oh no, no, Ned, 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 don't take me! No one will ever... Oh god, that's ominous.